After linking a graphic element to a layer source parameter, you can use the transform section to define the positioning, rotation, scale, and skew of the layer using it. You can access this section either by unfolding a layer in the stack or by clicking on it to display its parameters in the Properties panel. In the Transform subsection, you'll find the following parameters that use Autograph's specific coordinate system. Position, which is a 2D parameter in unified mode by default. Scale, which is a 2D parameter in single mode by default. Anchor point, which is a 2D parameter in unified mode by default. Rotation, which is a one-dimensional parameter in single mode only. Skew, a 2D parameter in unified mode by default. Skew order, which is a non-numerical parameter and defines if the X skew will be applied before or after the Y skew. Amount, which is the weight of the global transformation. It can also take values outside of the range 0 to 1, even negative ones. An inverse transform, which allows you to invert the transformation matrix. The anchor point is the reference point used when determining a layer's position values. Since an image is made up of a large number of pixels, saying that it's currently at position 160, 80, for example, doesn't make it possible to determine what it's in relation to. Is it its upper right corner, lower left corner, or its center that's at these coordinates? The values displayed in position are those of the anchor point positioned at the center of the image and with values 0, 0 by default. This is also used as a pivot point during a rotation or as a suction or expansion point during a scale change. In order to view the position of the anchor point, just position the cursor over the viewer with the Move Layers tool activated. It's represented by a small plus sign in the middle of the transformation widget. Changing the anchor point values won't change the position of this reference point, but it'll cause all image pixels to shift accordingly. Let's use the example of an image with a size of 600 by 300 pixels. By dragging it into a composition, it'll be placed at the center of the composition with an anchor point in the center of the layer source. If you move this layer, the position values will be modified, but not those of the anchor point which will remain positioned at the center of the source. If your image is 600 pixels wide, that means it extends 300 pixels to the left and 300 pixels to the right. By entering the value 300 in the X component of the anchor point parameter, we place it on the right edge of the image. But since the position values will remain the same, all source pixels will move to the left until reaching the right edge. The viewer has a tool that allows you to easily move the anchor point to a corner, an edge, or the center of the image without moving the image pixels. New values will be calculated for both the position and the anchor point. You can choose to move it according to the source of the currently selected layer or the composition coordinate system. Amount is the last parameter of the transform section and it lets you determine the influence of this transformation. By setting this value to zero, the transformation has no effect and the layer returns to its original place when it was added to the stack in the center of the composition. Now that you don't have to limit yourself to the 0 to 1 interval, if a layer in the center of the composition is moved 200 pixels to the right and the amount is set to 2.0, then the movement will be twice as much, bringing the layer 400 pixels to the right. Similarly, setting this value to negative 2.0 will not only move the layer twice as far, but it'll also move it in the other direction to the left at negative 400 pixels. All transformation parameters that make up the transform section, including a mount, end up applying what's called a transformation matrix on the layer. This is a mathematical object that lets you store changes in position, rotation, scale, and skew in a single element. When you apply transform modifiers like card 3D, corner pin, or follow path, they'll act directly on this matrix and concatenate between them. Once this resulting matrix is obtained, Autograph applies the corresponding transformation in one go, which allows you to only have one rasterization, avoiding the appearance of pixelation effects.
But a very important point to keep in mind when adding these transformation modifiers and only in the case of transforms, concatenating matrices is always done starting from the last one, going back gradually to the first one. Autograph chooses to represent these modifiers in the same order and not take any liberties with this mathematical tool and respect this norm. As a result, there is a major difference with all the other modifiers in the software. This list must be read from bottom to top in order to know the order in which these transform modifiers are executed. The inverse transform option lets you invert the transformation matrix. It can be useful when one transformation is linked to another, allowing for compensation when stabilizing a tracked plate, for example. When a layer has its 3D option activated, the current transform section is replaced by another one with 3D parameters. 2D transformations still exist and can be combined with 3D transformations. 